in this question we need to know what is an integer so an integer is a number which is not a fraction not a fraction or decimal it it cannot be a decimal as well now the here the question is is x an integer and the statements 1 and 2 is given now let's check statement 1 first so we'll take two options okay in statement 1 we'll take two option in option 1 let's say x by 3 is equal to 7 by 5 so 7 by 5 is not an integer right because this is a fraction 7 by 5 is not an integer so statement 1 says that x by 3 is not an integer so i took x by 3 as 7 by 5 now from here we will get x equal to 7 into 3 by 5 which is equal to 21 by 5 so x what is x x is not an integer because x we got it is a fraction so x is a x is not an integer now in option 2 let's assume that x by 3 is equal to 5 by 3 again 5 by 3 is not an integer it's a fraction so our statement 1 it is uh, it is as per statement 1 right so x by 3 equal to 5 by 3 then x is equal to 3 into 5 by 3 which is equal to 5 here what we got we got x is an integer because 5 is an integer so as if we put statement 1 and then we ask this question is x an integer we cannot give an answer right because in the first option also here x by 3 is not an integer here also x by 3 is not an integer but in first case we got x is an integer uh, sorry x is not an integer and in the second case we got x is an integer right so we cannot give a proper answer so statement 1 is not sufficient to answer the question now similarly we need to check statement 2 so in statement 2 we will again take two options now say statement 2 states that 3x is an integer now let's assume 3x equal to 6 since 6 is an integer 3x is an integer then we'll get x equal to 2 so x is an integer 2 is an integer so x is an integer right then in second option we'll take 3x equal to 5 5 is an integer so it is it confirms our statement to x 3x is an integer now here we'll get x equal to 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 is not an integer because it's a fraction so here in option 2 x is not an integer so in if we took take statement 2 we took two options so in the first option and second option 3x is an integer but in the first option x is an integer in the second option x is not an integer so if we take statement 2 we cannot answer this question because it can be either an integer not an integer so we cannot answer this question so statement 2 is also not sufficient to answer the question so the answer is d because both statement 1 and statement 2 are not sufficient to answer the question